Like I, I was moving dolo in the Bronx. So I pulled up and I'm like, yo. So I texted my man. So I'm like, yo, bro. <laughs> I'm about to get up out here in the Bronx, bro. Like. <laughs> Wait, so Powder, you from the Bronx? Don't cap, bro. We deaf. We deaf don't be chill. <laughs> you know that. Bro, I think we chill. Like, we. I feel like we be macking, bro. Sometimes. Yes, sir. Okay. Wait, what part of the Bronx you from? I gotta I got put you on the spot. Ah, you're right, you're right. We definitely do that then. We definitely do that. It's me like crazy. Yo, I think the last time I was ever at the Bronx, it was like a, like, it was the last time I ever Grand Concourse uh, 176. I think she lived in Grand Concourse. I, live, I think she lived like on the other side. Like she was close to Grand Concourse. Shorty violated me, bro. Like, granted, granted, she didn't get me jump, so I was, it was all good. But yo, let me find out, <laughs> bro. I dead ass pull up to this shorty's crib on Christmas Day, bro. Christmas Day, pulled up to her crib, surprised her, gave her a Christmas gift and everything. Bro, shorty had a whole girlfriend, bro. Shorty had a whole girlfriend who hit me up on Facebook. And was like, yo, you at my girl's crib? I'm like, yo, who this? So boom, um, I'm at the crib, I'm chilling. I'm like, you know, like she got cats. I don't like cats. Like I don't, I don't bang with cats. But I was just like, you know what? I'm, I'm messing with Shorty. I'm gonna be here for for a few hours. Um, I'm gonna just mac. Her mom's came through the door. I, I, you know me, being a gentleman, introduce myself, shake her mother's hand, say hello. Her mom offered me some food. I was like, nah, I'm good, I'm good. Like, I don't, I don't need nothing. Boom. So, um, I'm going on my phone, I'm reading text messages. Like, I'm getting all these, like, messages on Messenger. And I'm like, yo, who this? And she's like, yo, why you at my girl's crib? And I'm like... So, Shorty comes back into the room. Her mom leaves. I'm like, yo, can I ask you a question? She was like, what's up? I was like, yo... I keep getting these text messages from this random ass person. You wanna let me know who this is? She was like, oh, that's just my ex. She's like very super protective and like, I don't know how she found out that she was here. I'm so sorry, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, hold on. Your ex is a shorty? I'm like, you not listening. I'm in your hood. I'm in your hood. Where was the backup? Yo, exactly. Ain't no backup, bro. I was by myself. Like I, I was moving dolo in the Bronx. So I pulled up and I'm like, yo. So I texted my man. So I'm like, yo, bro. <laughs> I'm about to get up out here in the Bronx, bro. I need everybody like ASAP. And um, he was like, he texted me back. He's like, yo, bro, why would you go to the Bronx by yourself? Like, why didn't you tell me you was up there? And I was like, bro, like I don't know. Like I was just trying to see the shorty. So. I'm like, I'm low key panicking, but I'm just sitting there just. All right, cool. I'm like, you know what? I think I should probably get back to my fam. It's already like, it's already like three o'clock. Let me just go see my family now. So I, I get up, leaving her crib. Two niggas come out the projects out of nowhere. Just, hey, who you? I'm like, The two dudes, they pull up on me. They like, yo, who you? Shorty's next to me. She's like, oh, no, nah, he's good. He with me, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, then they tell her something. And then I'm, and then we leave. Whole time, I'm like, yo, I'm really about to get in the Bronx, bro. Like, and I had to pee. Like, I, I really had to pee. So I'm like, yo, if they swing on me and I pee my pants, bro, that, that shit's not gonna look well, bro. Like, yo, they probably gonna be like, yo, he's really your bitch. Like, he pissed his pants when I just touched him. And like, I just held my pee there. I was just like, bye. Right. Just like stone face, just no, nah, no. Nah. Cackles in Russia. <laughs> Like yo, I was really just like, if I'm if I'm really about to get snuffed though, if I get rocked out here in the Bronx, bro, I'm coming back in blood, bro. Like I'm coming back for revenge. So 
um, I leave. I'm going back to going back to Brooklyn, and I'm texting everybody like, "Yo, this <laughs> fucked up, bro. Like, yo, I'm really dead in her shit, bro. Like, I'm done with her. Like, it's over. It's it's on sight for her. Next time I see her." I get to the crib, I finally get to pee, bro. Like, that was a whole hour train ride. So I think I was just really angry, the fact that I had to hold my pee. All the train, like, all the train station bathrooms is all broken. That's the, yo, them toilets is always broken. Always broken. But after I'm like, I'm at home, I'm talking to my mom, my sister, um, everyone's just having a good Christmas. And I'm just sitting there, I'm like, yo, shit dead. Like, Granted, I wish you well. Like, if you and your ex have issues, that's on you. But nah, you not you not gonna see me out here acting a fool for a shorty, bro. Like, I'm nah. That was that was the one time. Like, that was the one lesson I learned. Like, I'm not going to somebody's hood without no one knowing what's going on.